What's the best way to hold a microphone when you are speaking? There are many different microphone techniques and some are better than others. So in this video, you will learn how to hold a microphone correctly. These techniques will work when you're doing a presentation, hosting an event or performing stand-up comedy. My name is Marcus Seppelam. I'm a stand-up comedian and TEDx speaker, helping you engage better with your audience. Check out additional resources in the description below the video. There you can also learn more about my stand-up comedy course for beginners. New speakers and comedians often feel uncertain how to physically hold the microphone in their hand. One technique that you often see singers and rappers use is to hold the microphone horizontally in front of your mouth. And while this may be ideal for music, it is not a good idea when you're speaking into the microphone. There's two reasons for this. One, your hand and your microphone are going to cover up a portion of your face. And that's not ideal when you are trying to engage with people. In this sample, I'm holding the microphone horizontally in front of my mouth. Microphone check, one, two, one, two. Microphone check, one, two. And two, holding a microphone like this for a long period of time will get uncomfortable. A better way to hold a microphone when you are speaking is to drop down your hand and hold the microphone diagonally. This will mean that you're not covering up your face with your hand and with the microphone, but this still sounds really good so long as the microphone is pointing at your mouth. In this sample, I'm holding the microphone diagonally in front of my mouth. Microphone check, one, two, one, two. Microphone check, one, two. Another technique is to hold the microphone vertically, slightly below your mouth. With this technique, you are actually speaking past the microphone, but this still sounds really good. One benefit of this technique is that you can hold your elbow against your body, which will give you a little bit more stability in your mic hand. In this sample, I'm holding the microphone vertically just below my mouth. Microphone check, one, two, one, two. Microphone check, one, two. A great technique that I always recommend to new speakers and comedians is to hold the microphone physically against your chin. This technique may feel a bit weird, but it has some significant benefits. One is that you are keeping the microphone at the correct and consistent distance from your mouth. Another benefit is that it will be easy for you to remember to bring the microphone with you when you turn your head. In this sample, I'm holding the microphone physically against my chin. Microphone check one, two, one, two. Microphone check one, two. So if you are just getting started and you don't want to spend any time thinking about microphone technique, just hold it against your chin. And I know plenty of experienced comedians who still use this technique. In all the techniques that we've covered so far, you're holding the microphone directly in front of your mouth. But you actually don't have to hold it centered in front of your mouth. You can have it off to the side as well, so long as the microphone is pointing at your mouth. And this is actually the technique I'm using right now with my microphone here in my mic stand. It is pointed at my mouth, but the microphone is positioned to the side. In this sample, I'm holding the microphone diagonally, but also to the side of my mouth. Microphone check, one, two, one, two. Microphone check, one, two. Are you getting value? Hit the like button. One of the main benefits of having the microphone off to the side is that you will avoid plosives, which are these little puffs of air that you get with certain consonants. I'm going to illustrate this by switching off the noise suppression that I'm currently using so that you will be able to hear the difference between having the microphone to the side and having it straight in front of me. This is my prototype script for testing plosives with the microphone in front of me. This is my prototype script for testing plosives with the microphone to the side. If you want to learn more about noise suppression filters that you can use on your computer, then click or tap the screen right here. In that video, I compare RTX Voice from NVIDIA and RN Noise, which is built into OBS Studio. This microphone, by the way, is the Samsung Q2U. It's a great microphone that has both a USB connection and an XLR connection. Check it out with the link in the description below the video. In just a moment, I'm going to share a bonus tip that will help you avoid one of the most common mistakes when using a microphone. If you are interested in learning how to do stand-up comedy from scratch, then check out my online class, Stand-Up Comedy for Beginners. Just go to comedyforbeginners.com.
And here's that bonus tip. Often you will hear a speaker come on stage and ask, can you hear me? You should never ask this question when you're performing on stage. To avoid having to ask, can you hear me, do these three things. One, always go to the mic check before the show starts. Test the microphone and ensure that you are comfortable with the setup. Two, rely on the producer to handle the audio. When I'm producing my own shows, I'm always sitting at my mixing desk, adjusting the volume to the performer who's currently on stage. Three, realize that if the audience cannot hear you, then they will let you know. You do not have to ask. Another important skill on stage is to thank a speaker. To learn more, click or tap the screen right here in that video. I cover five creative techniques for thanking a speaker after they finish. My name is Marcus Seppala. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.